What's going on, Griddle Nation? Chef Nathan Lippy here, and in this video, I wanna teach you how to season your brand new Blackstone griddle. Say this is your first griddle you have ever purchased. You must be as excited as I am every time I get a new griddle. CJ, are you excited? I love it. It's one of my favorite parts because it is like a clean slate. We are about to create a canvas for deliciousness. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you all the steps to follow to make sure your griddle top is seasoned perfectly. I'm sure you did some research before buying a Blackstone. I'm sure you've seen lots of different techniques and methods. So let me dispel all the myths, all the legends, all the rumors. Uh, first, let me say, do not use bacon fat. The very first cook on your Blackstone cannot be an animal fat. I'm, let me, this is, there's a caveat, CJ. There's I would like caveat. to know that caveat. The caveat is if you're cooking on your griddle every single day, pretty much any oil will work, including bacon fat. But if you're like a lot of people, you only cook once or twice a week, or even worse, if you go camping and you leave it sitting for a month, if you use bacon fat or an animal fat to season the very first few layers on your Blackstone griddle, you will experience chipping. You, it'll get brittle, it'll get dry, and it'll start to flake off. That's because bacon has nitrates and salt. Uh, think of seasoning not as cooking, but as chemistry, right? This is chemistry, not cooking. So we are creating polymerization. We're creating our own polymer. It's a it's an individual layer that we stack and stack and stack to create this nonstick protected blackstone. Am I nerding out too much, CJ? Yeah, yeah, polymerization. A bit, but I love it. Polymers. There is a bit of science. I just want you to remember seasoning your griddle for the first time. It's chemistry, not cooking. Shall we jump in? Let us do it. Here we go. So today I am using our proprietary uh, Blackstone griddle season. Now this thing is amazing. This uh, the, We call it the griddle seasoning and cast iron conditioner because it kind of works twofold. It works great for seasoning your griddle, which is what we're going to do today, but it also works really great to keep your Blackstone conditioned if you use it twice, maybe three or four times a month. It just keeps it really nice and healthy. keeps your, uh, I was going to say hydrated, but that might be a little confusing. Uh, water is the enemy of your griddle. So you want to keep it dry, but we do want to keep it hydrated with oil. We'll get to that in another video. But before I keep talking and boring CJ's head off, I'm bored. Uh, let's go ahead and get to our griddle. Now today I'm on a 36 inch griddle. We're going to light our first burner, kick that flame on, and then get all four burners up to high heat. Now we're going to let this sit for at least 10, maybe 15 minutes so that the griddle top can be really, really hot. This is paramount. This is key. Don't skip this step. You want to see some of that discoloration and you want to really hot flat top before we begin the process. Now we're gonna take some of that griddle seasoning cast iron conditioner. We're gonna add two, maybe three tablespoons to the middle of our griddle and use some paper towel and spread it evenly all across every bit of that blackstone surface. We wanna do the sides, the fronts, the backs, uh, every single bit of this griddle. Now the key to take away here, the number one key I would say CJ, the number one key in this whole, pro in this whole process, keep your layers thin even and smooth. If it's pooling up, if there's too much, you're gonna get an uneven seasoning layer and it will chip and become brittle later. So go slow and steady, it wins the race. CJ knows, because he's both slow and steady. <laughs> and I always win the race. <laughs> oh, that backfired on me. Yeah, it did. Back to seasoning. So keep your layers thin. Uh, about 15 minutes will pass. You'll notice the smoke will completely stop. Then we're gonna do it again. Two to three tablespoons of our griddle seasoning right in the middle, paper towel, thin, smooth, and even. Get the fronts, the backs, the sides. Get every inch of your griddle surface and make sure it's smooth. Can I say it too many times, CJ? Smooth. Smooth, make sure it's smooth. It's gonna smoke a ton, and that's the polymerization. That's that chemical reaction that's happening as the griddle seasoning is breaking down and bonding with the metal. This is what we're stacking, creating our new nonstick layer that's also gonna protect our griddle from rust. Here we go, we're gonna do it again. You can do this three, four, five times. You don't have to go more more than five times, I would say, especially on your first cook. You basically want to take your time, make sure your layers are thin, smooth, and even, let it smoke off 15 minutes or so, then do it again. I like to go four times. Occasionally, I'll do five times, but that's completely up to you because it is your Blackstone. And one of the wonderful things about Blackstone, just like Grandma's cast iron pan, it becomes part of you as you start cooking on it. 
Uh, and this one is ready to go, CJ. Let's we are cook. ready to create some deliciousness. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe. Click that little bell icon if you're on YouTube. That way you get a notification every time we post a video. We've got all kinds of fun shows. Be sure to check out CJ's first cooking show. Check out Family Style with Blackstone Betty. We have Let's Give It a Try with Todd Tobin. And of course, my show, Cook, Eat, Repeat, where we like to elevate those flavors and teach you how to be a restaurant cook in your backyard. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out blackstoneproducts.com for recipes, other tips, and techniques and don't forget to find us on Facebook and on Instagram. I'm Chef Nathan Lippy and I'll see you guys in the next video.